Back in 1990, two inventors, John Romke and Simon Hackett, created the first Internet of Things connected device, a toaster. They chose a toaster somewhat as a joke, but they also saw serious potential for a world of connected devices. In fact, Romke was instrumental in developing TCP IP, the communications protocol that is a foundation of the Internet. Today, our world is increasingly full of smart-enabled connected devices, from fridges to vacuums, toasters to toothbrushes, children's toys to baby monitors. We're building an internet of things that will infuse every part of life. But when devices are connected to the internet, there is always a risk that bad actors might hack into our system. The more points of connection, the more vulnerable we become. In the movie Ocean's Eleven, a group of criminals mastermind an elaborate plan to break into a highly secured environment, a Las Vegas casino. In reality, a group of cyber hackers was able to pull off a similar feat by slightly less elaborate means. They hacked the casino's fish tank. The smart fish tank was connected to the internet in order to regulate water temperature, food levels, and cleanliness. Once inside the casino's network, the hackers were able to move within it, eventually making off with data that included the high rollers list. This story is legendary in the cybersecurity community and illustrates how even a highly secure environment can be vulnerable as innocuous devices like fish tanks become portals to the online world. Our homes are much less secure than a casino. The average home may have password encrypted Wi-Fi, but that may be the only line of defense we have in place. Many Internet of Things devices have universal factory default passwords. At least some of these password lists have been published on hacking forums. Plus, some consumers fail to change these passwords when they install these devices. Regulators are just starting to move towards drafting new laws to require manufacturers to have more secure practices, such as stronger, unique passwords. But even with passwords, each device we connect to a network creates a point of vulnerability. While computers and phones are regularly updated with security patches, the companies who make consumer appliances, especially relatively inexpensive products, are less likely to vigilantly roll out updates because this is an added cost and they'd make more money if you just have to buy a new version of their device. Consumers may not realize the new level of vulnerability and risk created simply by enabling a new smart toaster. <laughs>